What's up everybody, Quan here, back at you with another video. So today, I wanted to do something a little different for Vlogmas. You guys do seem to like some of these videos where I talk to you about different fitness problems people have, and I was thinking it's the holidays, and I'm like, dang, it's about to be January 1st in no time, and people are probably getting ready to start their fitness journey for 2022. They wanna change their life, you wanna lose weight, you wanna build muscle, you wanna change your physique, you're tired of things. You know, the pandemic is shifting. I'm not gonna say it's ending, but it's shifting, so more things are open, there's more opportunities and more things to do, so you wanna get started on your fitness journey. So I want to give you guys three tips that you can use to get started on your fitness journey in 2022 so that you hit it hard and you feel good. So these are three things you can do to jumpstart your journey. Hope you guys are excited. I'm excited, it's gonna be fun. Let's get to it. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications, because guys, we're at 40,400 subscribers. And I know a lot of you guys came from shorts. Let's keep growing this long form content. Let's keep grinding, let's keep pushing, and let's have some fun, all right? So hit that button for me, ring that bell. Let's do our thing, and uh, let's get to it. Let's go. Yeah. Uh -oh. And we're back. Hope you guys enjoyed that intro. I really love it. It's one of a, something one of my friends made for me, and I really enjoy it. So it's in all my videos. They made that song for me. So step one for you know jumpstarting your fitness journey in 2022. You guys are gonna laugh. Don't wait. Don't wait till January 1st to get in the gym. Don't wait till next week to get in the gym. Go today, go tomorrow. Go as soon as you are able to get started. Start making healthy habit changes. Don't wait till the holidays are over. You're gonna want all the foods you like anyway. You're gonna wanna rest, you're gonna wanna get sleep. You're gonna feel lazy on January 1st just like you feel the way you feel now. If you wanna lose weight, build muscle, it doesn't matter what the goal is, get on it now. Time waits for no one. So get after it, get started, get a plan, go join that gym, go take those classes, go get that program. And honestly, if you don't wanna spend money yet, that's perfectly fine. Go to your most motivated fitness friend and get in the gym with them or just go in the gym. Read the machines, there's a lot of directions and a lot of things you can use. Google some things, there's a lot of free materials out there for you guys to start your fitness journey. People are like, it's about money, it's not always about money. You can really do stuff. I even have a bunch of free workouts on this channel that you can do with a myriad of different equipment from dumbbells to machines to in the gym to all sorts of stuff. So, and I'm not the only person that does that. If you don't like my style, that's fine. Go find something and just get started, all right? So step two for jump starting that program, Start making tangible goals that you can achieve throughout the year. Set milestones for yourself. A lot of times we jump in the gym and you're like, ah, I'm gonna get in shape. You train for two days straight, you're super sore, you're in bed, you're like, mm, I hate my life, I suck. Yeah, that happens because you don't have a plan in place. So set plans and milestones to keep you going through those tough moments. Don't quit after things get tough. So if you're trying to gain five pounds of muscle in the next year, track those quarter pounds, those half pounds. If you're trying to lose weight, if you don't want to step on a scale and check, you track it, you can track it on scale, like what I was saying, but if you don't want to do that, you can track inches, you can track the way you feel, you can base it on how many miles you can run. Set a plan in place that you can track over the course of the next month, three months, to six months to a year so that you can stay on track. And if you want someone to do that for you, there's a ton of trainers online and people out there that can develop a plan for you. Check people out. There's a lot of stuff, a lot of different people. It's super saturated, but with that comes competitiveness. With that comes amazing opportunities for you guys to really achieve your goals because people really want your attention and want you to work with them. And if you don't want to spend money, like I said, develop that plan. So take a journal, open it up, Write each of your goals out, weekly, monthly, three months, six months, a year. That way as you progress, you can see, and even if you take a step back, you just slide things down a little bit. Don't put too much pressure on yourself, but also understand that with goals comes success. And the third and final thing I want you guys to do as you get ready to jumpstart your new year, take a look at the people around you. Take a look at the people you hang out with, the people you go out with, the relationships you're in, um, even your family, and ask yourself if these are some of the people you wanna be around going into this next year, and start making changes now. And I'm not telling you to cut off your family and cut off people, but what I am saying is, you can slowly start to distance yourself as you change what you're interested in. And so even if you pull away from some of the friends and some of the relationships you're in now, you should be actively, you know, actively look for people who are in that like, that like mindset. Because when you work with people who 
think similarly in terms of goals, I'm not talking about opinions, I'm talking about goals, when they have goals and they're motivated, it's gonna keep you motivated because at the end of the day, it'll work as a system. One day you might be down, but your, your, your friend is like, oh, let's go to the gym, come on, let's get it. I see it all the time teaching classes. I see it all the time with clients and even online. People be like, oh, I didn't wanna do it today, but uh, you know, Beth told me to get in the gym today, so I went in with her. And then Beth one day is like, oh man, I just had a rough day at work. And then you're over there like, hey Beth, come on, let's get it. You did it for me, let's get in there together. Build that accountability. But with building that accountability, you gotta separate yourself from the nonsense, folks. So do those three things and you're gonna be super successful, guys. I know it's tough getting started in the gym, but as I said before, start early, have a plan, monitor your surroundings. You do those three things and you're gonna dominate this next year, you're gonna dominate tomorrow, and you're gonna dominate the rest of your life. There's gonna be ups and downs, people are gonna talk, things are gonna happen regardless of what you do with your goals, so why not get started now? So I appreciate you guys, I love you guys, and we're gonna get back to some of the more vlog content and workouts tomorrow. I did an awesome event with F45 Training, the company I work for on the Santa Monica Pier earlier today, and it was really awesome, I had a blast. And um, I'll put some of that in the vlog tomorrow, right before we do our workout for the day. Keep going with me. We got like 21 days left of this thing, so we're gonna keep pushing, keep grinding, keep showing what we can do. We're gonna keep having fun, and I appreciate you guys holding me accountable to become a better editor, better videographer, better YouTuber, better trainer. I appreciate it. So don't forget to click down below to sign up for online training. Grab you some supplements from Transparent Labs, the people who help me stay in shape. And um, yeah, man, it's gonna be awesome, and I really appreciate the support. You guys keep grinding. Stay tuned for another video tomorrow, and uh, get some rest, and I'll see you then. Thank you, guys. Quan out.